What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the Buffalo Sabres re-signing Cody Hodgson to a six-year extension that will pay him on average $4.25 million per season. I like this deal for both sides. Cody Hodgson really stepped up last year and showed why he was such a highly touted prospect with the Vancouver Canucks before getting traded to Buffalo. And I had 34 points in 48 games last year with the Sabres, and I look for him to take on a bigger role as, um, you know, it's kind of the worst kept secret in hockey that Vanek and uh, Ryan Miller are on their way out. Ways out oh, plural, um, and I think you know Hodgson will be called upon to step up and replace some of that productivity, along with some of the other young guys in the Buffalo Sabres organization, Grigorenko, Gerritsen's guys like that. Um, but you know this is a, a, I think the beginning of a new I don't want to say era in um, in Buffalo, but I mean I think you know I say Cody Hodgson is their their guy now. You know he's going to be the you know the, the face of the franchise so to speak. Because like I said. I give it until the trade deadline, by the trade deadline, if not on the trade deadline, but I'd say before that. Um, cause I think Buffalo would move him before the Olympics. Um, Miller and, and Thomas Vanek. I think Vanek will be in L.A. and Miller will be in Colorado. I think that those would be my, if I had to bet. And uh, like I said, this is a really good deal. I think it's a fair deal for both sides. They, they didn't go for the bridge deal like the Leafs did with Kadri. Um, you know, they have enough faith in him paying $4.25 million. And Cody Hodgson, um, you know, wasn't going to hold out and say, I, I want to make, you know, if I become a point of game, I'm going to be worth more than that. He was willing to take that, you know, the risk, so to speak, for, for long-term, um, you know, for a long-term commitment and be ready for camp, which, I mean, is more than, than you can say now. Um, there's going to be some, there's still some things going on right now with Peter Angelo, I don't know, the 2008 first rounder, uh, Derek Stepan, and uh, Cody Franzen. So those are some intriguing situations, and I think especially with uh, Peter Angelo and Cody Franzen, with the Carolina Hurricanes losing you only picking him for the year, maybe, you know, the Canes putting off a sheet and that could change the dynamic. But, um, you know, Buffalo, it, it took a little while, but you know what, the bottom line is they got a result. And uh, Hodgson, I think it's going to be, be amazing next season. I'm curious to see what steps he takes forward because I believe next year will be his first full. No, he's, he play, actually played 83 games in 2011-2012. I'm said his first 82-game season. So it, technically his first 82-game season. I wasn't too far off. But um, like I said, good deal for both sides. Curious to see what uh, what comes next in terms of the unsigned restricted free agent population. Anyway, that's my next episode of the Power Play with CJ on the Buffalo Sabres re-signing Cody Hodgson. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.